Hey everybody, it's Mike Fit and 20. So I want to show you how to do a T-bar or a landmine row, okay? I don't have an actual T-bar machine. I have a landmine set up here. Uh, it's called a landmine because the mechanism that goes into the floor or the mine goes into a uh, stack of weights case kind of looks like a landmine sticking out of the, the ground is this case full as that might seem. But that's the name of it. Um, you'll see machines in the gym that are set up like this so that you can do rowing motions. Uh, some support your chest, some you stand to do it and you don't have any chest support. Okay, So this is going to mimic the, gym, the machine in the gym that doesn't allow you chest support. I have a bar on here that allows me several different grips and the ones at the gym uh, will normally have the same thing. I've got a wide grip, semi-wide and a close grip. Okay, um, And I can also if I grip in between the semi-wide and the wide grip, I could also have a curl grip if I wanted. So you can use any of those grips and I advise that you change it up. So what am I doing when I do a rowing motion? Well, it's a bent horizontal row, okay? And the muscle that it's working is the lat muscle, which runs from your arm here uh, all the way down your back. And the lat either contracts to pull you up or to pull something down, or it can contract pull something into your body, or if you're laying on your back and you're holding on to something, it can pull you up, okay? So that's the function of the lat. I like these, these bigger motions like this because they're more practical. Like it's not unusual to bend down and pick something up versus doing a, a barbell curl where, you know, when do we do that in real life? So this is more like a real life motion. Okay, so to do this properly, the one thing I want you to remember is to always protect your back, okay? And that means shoulder blades squeezed, chest wide, and out and your back is straight. So when you bend down to pick it up, you want to hold that position. You don't want to slouch, okay? Always holding this position. You stand in nice and close to the bar. Okay, I've got some weight here. I'm going to take a wide grip to demonstrate this to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to deadlift first, okay? So keeping my back straight, I'm going to stand up a bit till I get in position. Adjust my feet, keep my legs bent a bit. Now I'm going to bend over a little bit, trying to get as parallel to the ground as I can. From here, keeping my back straight, I'm going to breathe in and out as I pull up, touch my chest. Notice my head isn't down like this. I might start slouching and I'm not cranking my head back like you'll see some guys doing in the gym. I'm keeping a neutral spine, okay? As I'm doing this exercise, what I want you to think of is pulling out like this, okay? Your lats will feel it more if you're trying to pull the bar apart. As you pull up, stretch out. As you go down, stretch out. Separate the bar, okay? So that's a T-bar or a landmine row. 